Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to measure average speed. So let's get started. Now we're going to look at the steps of a scientific report that you could write if you carried out an experiment on measuring average speed. And so let's say the aim of this experiment was to determine the average speed of a moving trolley, i.e. the kind of trolley in a physics lab. It then says the method would be to collect a trolley with mask, ramp, pile of books, two light gates, two clamp stands, a computer or timer and a meter stick. And you can set up the equipment as shown below here. So you can see we've got the timer connected to two light gates. We've got a trolley with a mask on it. So that's just a bit of card on the top. And we've got the light gates set a certain distance apart. And the tracker ramp is lifted up at one end by a pile of books. And the way the experiment works is quite simple and the steps are given here. So firstly, you would measure the distance between the two light gates using a meter stick. So the distance from here to here. We then know the distance that we can sub in at the end to calculate the average speed. And then says when the mask, i.e. the card, intercepts the first light gate, the timer starts. So when the card intercepts this first light gate here, it's going to cut the light beam and that's going to start the timer. It then says when the mask intercepts the second light gate over here, the timer stops. So when this card or mask cuts the second light gate here, the timer will stop. This gives a value for the time taken to travel the measured distance. It lastly says to use the following relationship to calculate average speed. So we know that average speed equals total distance travelled over the time taken. So you sub in your distance measured by the meter stick and you sub in the time given from the timer here. And here's some sample results that I got from the physics classroom. So let's say the distance between the two light gates was 80 centimetres measured with the meter stick. Then that's the same as 0.8 metres. And I just did the experiment once to get one time for the trolley to travel the measured distance, which was found to be 0.9352 seconds. And then I subbed that into the equation, average speed equals total distance travelled over time taken, which equals 0.8 over 0.9352, which is equal to 0.86 metres per second. And then just to conclude that there, we can answer the aim. So we can say the average speed of the moving trolley in this example was found to be 0.86 metres per second. And a good rule of thumb is that a trolley in the lab should be roughly at walking speed, which is roughly one meter per second. Now I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you better understand the procedure. So here we have two light gates connected to an electronic timer and a meter stick to measure the distance between them and our trolley with the card or mask on it. It then says you need to measure the distance between the two, so that's what we said. And using the meter stick here, you can see it goes from zero to 60 centimeters. So that means our distance is 60 centimeters, which is the same as 0.6 meters. So if the ramp was at an angle and I released the trolley, you can see that the timer starts when the light beam is cut on the first light gate. And then the timer stopped when the light beam is cut on the second light gate. I'll just show you that again. So there we've got a time of two seconds provided by the timer. So that gives me my distance and my time. And then I can sub it in to average speed equals distance over time. which gives me 0.6 over 2, which is 0.3 meters per second in this example. Now that was just a simple electronic timer they were using, but you can also use something in the physics lab called a TSA timer, which stands for time speed acceleration. So it can measure all of these things, time speed and acceleration. So you could actually just set it up to measure the average speed for you, but then you wouldn't be practicing the equation, which is important. So using the TSA timer, you could do the same as before, but this time enter the distance between the two light gates, enter the timer itself, 0.6 meters and click enter. And then if we click on the trolley, you can see that the timer will start again when the first light beam is cut and the timer stops when the second light beam is cut. And again, this gives me a time of two seconds, which I could then sub in to the equation for average speed equals distance over time. And if you had measured it up to calculate the speed, you would get a speed there of 0.3 meters per second, just like in the first case. But remember a typical value for average speed of a trolley moving in the lab is going to be nearer one meters per second rather than 0.3 meters per second. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.